What's up everybody? I'm Alex Bourne from Rockwell Guitar School in Shoreview, Minnesota. And uh, this is a bare bones lesson. I'm going to teach you how to play the, um, I guess they're like steel drum guitar, uh, not guitar parts, steel drum parts uh, in the song uh, Margaritaville by Jimmy Buffett. Okay, so you can play these on guitar, you can play these on keyboard too, but I'm just going to so show you how to play on guitar because it's kind of kind of cool to whip out those parts if um, no one's expecting you to, you know? So in the intro, we got, let me just play it for you, then I'll show you how to play it. Okay, so that's what they do in the intro, and then at the end of each chorus, they go, um, Okay, and uh, in this style of music, um, this kind of like this is actually, I mean, I know it's Jimmy Buffett, but he's actually kind of pulling from a very, uh, very Caribbean kind of island sort of music tradition especially with the, the feel, the groove, the instrumentation. Um, and then in this kind of music, it's pretty popular to have steel drums. And it's also pretty popular to play um, melody lines that are harmonized in thirds, which is what this is, okay? So what that means for you is you're gonna be playing two strings at a time here, okay? So, let's see. So we start from, for the intro part. We're, we're always gonna be playing on the first and the second string, okay? So here I have seven and five on the second and first string. That's the second string. That's the first string. So we go. Then move it down two frets. Then move it up two frets. Okay, think of it as a chord, a mini chord. Okay, now I'm gonna move up. The shape is gonna change. So this is eight on the second string and seven on the first string okay so i'm going right down in the key in, in uh, thirds so I, I played the chord shapes that i had before seven and five there's five and three now this is a new one we haven't talked about yet but this is like right out of an right out of a D chord. Okay? So that's three and two. Okay? So once again in slow mo we got again. Now, for uh, after each chorus, let's see. How's it go? Okay, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, the good news is we're not learning any new chord shapes here, okay? So we got... So that's the... Uh, it'd be like the, uh, the G shape of the 8 and 7. The 7 and 5. And go up to 7 and 5. Slow mo up, up close. Let's see. We got it. Oh, that's not very easy for you to see. Okay. okay. Use your ears as best you can. Um, and ask me if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
Uh, okay, for me some peace. Oh.